What's up guys? We are back with another educational video and this week we're talking about creatine bro. One of the ubiquitous things that has been said about creatine for a long time, mostly by women I want to say, but certainly some men have said it too is, well I don't want to take creatine because I don't want to retain water. It'll make me retain water. And there's been a lot of hand wringing about this and should I take creatine if I'm going to do a show? make me retain water. Well, what we know about creatine is creatine is an osmolite, meaning uh, it pulls water wherever it goes. In the case of skeletal muscle, creatine is stored in skeletal muscle as phosphocreatine, which implies that it should pull water into the muscle cell. So one of the things I've said for probably, oh, I don't know, 20 years, is that creatine most likely puts water where you want it and not where you don't want it, and that by putting water into muscle and having a hydrating effect on skeletal muscle cells, that in and of itself may be anabolic. There was a new study that came out where they looked at the ratio of skeletal muscle to intracellular water as well as extracellular water. And what they found was creatine basically increased total body water and didn't really change the ratios of intracellular, extracellular, uh, and skeletal muscle water, meaning it kind of puts it where you want it. Yes, you have more total body water, but since you store a greater proportion of water inside the cell compared to outside the cell, the absolute amount of water that creatine is going to make you retain is going to be greater inside the cell versus outside the cell. And this is supported by another study from 2003, which essentially showed the same thing, that creatine increased intracellular water. This is important to understand because there are companies out there who will market to you and say things like, our creatine doesn't cause water retention. And they use these nebulous terms and they usually target it at women in particular. Let me just be clear. This is bullshit. If a company is claiming that creatine doesn't cause water retention, if in fact their particular creatine does not cause water retention, then they're basically saying our creatine is not effective. Now, that being said, I have yet to see any data demonstrating that somehow uh, a particular form of creatine does not cause water retention. But again, the water retention from creatine is a good thing. Water inside the muscle is a good thing. It is not going to make you look bloated. It is not going to make you look watery. A volumized muscle cell is a muscle cell that looks good. For the same reason that bodybuilders carb load before shows is the same reason creatine volumizes your muscle cells and makes your muscle cells look good. So yes, you can take it before competition. It's not going to make you bloated. What some people may more likely be reporting is GI discomfort with creatine, in particular loading creatine. So if you load creatine, you're not absorbing all of that creatine. Now you will saturate your muscle cells faster. You can do it in about five to seven days if you're loading 15 to 25 grams a day. But there are increased reports of gastrointestinal discomfort with that because you're having some undigested or unabsorbed creatine in your GI, which pulls water into your GI and makes you feel uncomfortable. Once you move to a maintenance dose after a week, which is what most people recommend, that will subside. Or you could just choose not to load, just take your normal three to five gram per day maintenance dose. And in approximately four weeks, you will be saturated with creatine. So it's up to you how you want to do it. If you're somebody who gets GI discomfort easily, you may want to start with a lower dose and not load. If you are somebody who doesn't really get GI discomfort or it doesn't bother you that much, then you can load and you'll be saturated faster. But at the end of the day, once you've moved to a maintenance dose or been on a maintenance dose, creatine is not going to make you look bloated or watery. I would recommend using creatine monohydrate. It has been shown to saturate the muscle cell 100% and has been shown to be just as effective or more effective than every other form of creatine it's ever been tested against. That includes creatine ethyl ester, buffered creatine, both of which creatine monohydrate has been shown to be superior to. Companies who are marketing other forms of creatine are simply trying to find a way to charge you more money because creatine monohydrate is ubiquitous, 
very cheap and companies cannot make that much money off of it. So my recommendation, use creatine monohydrate and enjoy the gains. All right guys, that's it for this week. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Click the links in the description, including my new supplement company that's coming out. Yes, we use creatine monohydrate. The reason we use creatine monohydrate is for all the reasons I just listed in this video. But hey, you don't wanna buy that? That's fine, no big deal. We try to make sure our products are backed by evidence, science, and properly dosed. The company's called Outwork Nutrition. Hope you guys like them. Hope you guys keep watching the video. Please click like and subscribe, and I will catch you next week. Thank you.